Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today I'm here with my friends Twingo and NPC for another customization battle, another three-way customization yeah. battle. <laughs> um, today we're going to be customizing the Anis 300R, and uh, we've all got, as you guys can see, matching ones. So yeah, we're going to be taking them in and customizing them today, but before we get into it, we have to go over who lost the last customization battle that we all did. Oh, facts! I forgot about that. I totally yeah, I kind of forgot about that until right now. I already know it's me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and despawn my car, and uh, I'll just go ahead and call my my entity MT back over here. All right, guys, so I'm definitely gonna be the one selling my car. I got 130 votes in total. Uh, Kaya got 254 and NPC got 294. So yeah, uh, yeah Easy. it's pretty needless to say that I lose. Um, so I I'm gonna sell my car. Oh, okay. Nice. Good, <laughs> good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I get to go some, I guess. Okay. All right, it's oh, time. Yeah. Let's go. It's time to it's time to do this. It's time to drive it across the river. What what is the bet that I'm actually going to be able to sell uh, sell my car today? I will say yes. I'm thinking no because why I'm would it let me? I'm for something good. Okay, I made it across that that jump. Let's see. Please, please let me sell the car. I don't want to replace this thing with another 300R because I already have an extra one. So it'll be a Christmas miracle if you can. Uh, fingers crossed. No, no, dude, you can only sell vehicles worth under 50 grand. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. It's like you'll have to to replace it once again. Uh, um, I'll replace the Anna Sylvester. Now I've done that. Okay, so now I have to go onto the website and buy another Anna's 300R because, well, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Love doing nice. this. My favorite car Money. to purchase. Two million seventy-five thousand dollars. Awesome. Hell yeah. Awesome. Okay, and we're about to see the entity MT disappear. Oh god. Okay, there it goes, and it's gone. <laughs> Dub. Uh, all right. Um. Well, are we ready to? Uh, are we ready to get <laughs> customizing, gentlemen? Yes, we are. So. Okay, excellent. Well, let's head into the auto shop. By the way, guys, we're doing uh, we're doing this customization battle in the auto shop uh, for something different because we're trying to save some money. Uh, these customization battles are costing us an awful lot, and uh, we can all barely afford it. So we're 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 doing them in the auto shop. So uh, we'll, getting out of hand. It is. Do we enter our own? Uh, yeah, enter your own auto shops, and then uh, we'll all switch channels, and we'll we'll meet back outside by uh, by that original wall that we were sitting at before. Sounds good. All, all right. right. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. All right, boys, we're in the auto shop. It's time to get into this. Let's go ahead and modify the vehicle. Okay, here we are inside. We're going to start off with the armor. We're going to go all the way up on that. The brakes as well. And for the fenders, we do have the ability to add some uh, some fender flares onto this car. I personally don't think that they're going to really improve the look of mine, uh, so I'm going to leave them off for the time being. For the front bumpers though, we do have a few options here, and I kind of have an idea of what I want to go for with this car. Uh, this thing's based off of the Nissan 400Z, it's the new one in real life, and uh, I kind of want to go for more of an aggressive build. I saw there was a leak not too long ago of the, uh, the Nissan 400Z GT4, so I kind of want to go for a build like that on this car. So we're going to go for the primary garage splitter. I think that that looks pretty good. Uh, or maybe we should go secondary on. No, we'll go primary for right now. For the engine, we are going to go all the way up on that. For the engine cover, we do have a few different options here. I personally really like the look of the of the red engine bay. So I want to go for it, I think. So I think we're going to go for just the exposed engine covers. I like the look of that. For the exhaust, we do have quite a few different options here as well. Um, honestly, not many of these options really look all that great in my opinion. Uh, so I think we're going to go for the titanium exhausts. I like those the best probably. For the hood, we have the ridgeline hood as you guys can see here. We got the carbon ridgeline hood as well. We have the race vented hood, the carbon race vented hood as well. The vanity hood, that is pretty neat. I do like that. The carbon vanity hood, the tuner hood as well, the carbon tuner hood, the stream vent hood as well, the carbon stream stream vent hood, full carbon stream vent hood, and uh, we got this slip dished hood as well. I do like the look of that, and I actually kind of like it in carbon, I won't lie. However, I don't think that we're going to be going for the uh, for the carbon today. Um, I think if anything, we're either going to go ridge line or probably for one of these uh, sort of vented hoods. Um, I do like the look of the split dished hood, so we're going to go for that on this vehicle. 
So we got the split dished hood. Now we're gonna go for the lights. We are gonna go xenon on these. Neon kits, I'm gonna leave them off. I'm not a big uh, big fan of that. Uh, for the livery on the car, we do have quite a few different options here. Um, I am kind of tempted to go for a livery option, uh, but I don't know how well it's really going to match up. So I think if anything, we're probably going to go for just something basic like the Black Stance Andreas livery or maybe the shopping list, but I just don't think that they look all that good. So I think I'm actually going to leave it uh, kind of off the car because I just don't think it's really going to improve the overall look. I do really like the bullet mirrors on this car. I think that they look pretty great. Uh, we're going to do them in the secondary color. Or maybe we should just go for the regular mirrors. I don't know. I feel like they do add something to the front of the car, though, in all honesty. Let's leave them on for right now. We might end up changing it later. Yellow on black is what we're going to do for the plate. For the rear panel, we can go for the primary, secondary, or carbon. We're going to go secondary on this, actually. For the respray of the car, I have an idea of what I want to go for. Uh, it's a color that I don't typically go for because I don't have it unlocked. But we have it unlocked because we are in the auto shop and it is of course lime green i think that lime green looks great on this car so we're gonna go for it now for the secondary color it does do the roof uh, as of right now uh, because we have it selected on there actually sorry no it doesn't the roof is black uh, when it comes to stock uh, so it's really only doing the rear panel as well as the mirrors of the car uh, i want to keep this black i think the black looks really good uh, for the pearl essence on this vehicle, we are actually going to be taking it off because I think it makes everything else on the car look kind of funny uh, under the light. So we're going to take the pearl essence off. Now for the trim color on the interior, we have it in black currently. Um, I don't think that I want to do anything too crazy with it. Maybe we can make it into like a white or something just to bring out the interior a little bit. But honestly, I think black looks really good. So we're just going to leave it as black. Now for the roof, we can change it to the primary roof if we so choose. We can also change it to a carbon roof as well. The secondary roof kit as well. I am kind of tempted to go for the secondary roof. We also have like the ridged roof and the... Uh, the inset roof and stuff like that that we could go for i think that i want to go for the secondary inset roof kit but at the same time it does kind of look better as the primary color i think um it just doesn't quite match up with the uh, with the 400z gt4 i think that i think that it just looks better in the primary color at the same time the secondary does look kind of good i think we are actually going to go for the secondary inset roof kit i do like the look of it so we'll do that for the side skirts on this vehicle we could go for primary we could go for secondary uh, there's a lot of skirt options actually um, I personally think that the primary carbon skirts look pretty good so I want to go for those uh, so that's what we're going to do for the spoiler we can go for just a simple ducktail on this car we can also go for the wedged ducktail as well uh, we can also go for a bigger wing i kind of like the look of the secondary tuner wing uh, so we might end up going for that the aggressor wing is also pretty crazy looking uh, so i do like that too the big wing as well is also nice um i think i think in terms of like cleanness i think that the primary tuner wing or the secondary tuner wing is going to be the way to go i think i'm going to go secondary on it just to get some more black on the car i like the look of that For the suspension we are going to go race suspension on this thing so we got race suspension on it transmission we got to go all the way up on that the turbo as well for the wheels i think that i want to go hmm maybe something in the street category um i don't want these to be too too crazy uh however i also don't want them to be like you know weak looking or anything like that segoy concaves really do work pretty well on this thing i think uh, the hyper fresh are also quite nice um, I am kind of tempted to go for a six spoke wheel on this car though. Um, the concave mega mesh look great too, actually, in all honesty, but uh, I kind of almost want to go for like an endo. The endos look really good. At the same time, they don't though. So I'm really not sure. Uh, the mercy concave also look fantastic. You know what I'm thinking about is maybe going into the sport category and just having a look in here. Uh, we could go for something like the Laws Speed Mark V. I feel like those are pretty solid looking rims for this vehicle as well. We've got the 59s. we got the regular Mercies as well. We've got the Synthetic Z. That actually is kind of cool. I feel like those work well with the car. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, we got the S Racers as well. You know what? It's been a long time since I've gone for S Racers on a car. I think these look good. Let's go for them. For the color of these, I want to do black for sure. For the tires, we are going to go bulletproof, of course. Could put a tire design on them, but they don't look all that good, so I'm going to leave it off for the windows we're gonna tint them um i think they look really good in the full black 
so we will go for the full black on these for sure uh there's something about this uh this front bumper that i'm not really uh liking too too much i almost kind of like the stock front bumper on this car uh but i think i'm gonna go for the primary carbon splitter instead of the uh the one that we had on there before i think it matches up just a little bit better with uh, especially the side skirts on this thing so um i'm pretty happy with the overall look of the car um, I am also maybe a bit tempted to change the mirrors up a bit. I think that they almost do look better um, up here on the car. So we're actually going to go for the uh, the stock mirrors because they come in the, uh, in the black uh, color. So got that. Is there anything else that we want to do? What about the hood? We could do it in carbon. That would add a little more like black to the car, but I don't think that it looks that good. So um, I think I'm going to avoid it. I think honestly, we've done pretty much all that we can to this car. Um, I'm pretty happy with the build. Let's take it outside and see it in the sunlight. I am going to say that this is my uh, this is my final product. Uh, this is a finished car. So let's let's go ahead and, and uh, hop outside here. Oh, let's go. We're the first ones out. Um, this thing, yeah, it's looking it's looking real mean. I really do like the look of this. Um, I'm excited to see what. Uh, what NPC and Twingo come up with for this car. Um, hopefully not something too, too similar, but um, you know what? If they come up with something similar, it's not uh, it's not exactly the end of the world. This thing's looking good though. I am uh, I am pretty happy with the, uh, with the build. Oh, look at that. Oh man, Kaya's got a sick build. Ah oh, man, ah oh, man. Okay, well let's hop in and uh, let's hop in and talk to talk to Sir Twingo. There we go. Shalom. Oh, hey, he hopped in here. Look at that, man. Howdy. That looks really good. I think so. I like the look of that a lot. Yeah, I think the red and the white. I love like Canadian colors. Mm. I think it maybe should be maybe a little bit more red, but there wasn't too much I could do honestly. No, yeah, the, it, it is it is kind of hard. I find this car's customization options. I why aren't there secondary hoods? And like, yeah. what, like there's I like know. nothing for secondary besides a brake caliper. Yeah, so it's it's just kind of uh, it's just kind of annoying, but yeah, um, mm. I mean it is what it is. Um, I think I think you can still make a pretty decent looking car. Oh, there, there he is. is. <gasps> it's white. It's white. Another white one. Oh, oh with God. with white true fave concaves. With, oh yeah. Oh wow, with the big spoiler. Oh, Aaron loses mm. this one. Oh, I'm I just, yeah, I'm yeah just, I agree. <laughs> come on. <laughs> just gonna you gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> Good mirror choice, though. Yeah, the mirror choice. Yeah, I kind of wish I went with the other mirrors. Oh, those wheels just completely ruin it, though, for me. You think so? Yeah, I'm not a fan. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It's not up to me. Love the build, Aaron. It looks great. Yeah, Thank great. You. Very cool. Thank 10 you. out of 10, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are y'all are on it, huh? I hate the wheels. I can't stand them. Yeah, but I don't know if the true fade concaves were the were the move, brother. Oh no, they were the move. Trust me, especially. Hold up. Okay, I'm at a disadvantage from from the back here. Also, I think we should pull our cars out of the shade a little bit. Yeah, maybe. We, yeah, that's, that's just a like good pull idea. them up. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. Why don't we go? Let's let's go to let's go to a parking lot that's not like in the dirt because I I'm not yeah. really messing with the dirt too much. Let's, let's yeah. Let's do a little test drive with it. Yeah. Let's let's take the cars for a little whip. People were suggesting okay. to do that on my video. Yeah. So. Well, maybe we should go to the observatory. Let's do it. Let's go to that parking I'm down. lot. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, I don't have my mini map on. I'll follow you though. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I don't know where it is either. Bruh, how long have you guys been run? playing this game? <laughs> Man, I know, I, I, dude, I never play with my minimap display anything on. And I, like, uh, really? I, know, I have I have played the game for a lot longer than you guys, but. Yeah. It's quite immersive, actually. I might keep this. Dude, I, I always record with it. I mean, it looks so much better, too, for, like, your video, I find, like, no. without, without, the, uh, without the radar and the HUD. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, that truck. Oh, 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 I got wrecked. No, we're way off. Bro, how did, where are you guys? Who goes to the observatory? What are you though? doing? Like, where are you, you going? Where are you we yeah, need bro. to go down here. This is where the waypoint is telling me. To come to the observatory. Yes, I think I've placed my Are you placing? Right no, you, no, you were going the complete opposite direction. You guys are literally going the wrong oh, way. Okay, okay, we were going the right way, damn it. Oh, and here they are, the two slow white cars. Good lord. So, Aaron, you didn't really tell us why the true fade concaves were the move. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna need facts. If you look at the, if you look at it from the back, dude, hold up. I need to turn around actually for this so I can have the sunlight in the back. It just looks so good from this like back angle. <laughs> like if you, if you're driving, right? Normally you're facing the back of the car. If you turn it like 45 degrees, this angle looks so sick yeah like right here that looks sick um yeah yeah no yeah yeah so i kind of went for like a 
Uh, can I can I guess what you went for? Yeah. White. Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Uh, secondary color. Is the sec is the secondary a different a different white? Thank God. Red calipers. White calipers Red would calipers. look stupid. It would. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's just supposed to be mm -hmm. like a simple. <clears throat> Simple kind of a tuner build. I like the blood but splatter however... on it too. Oh, you don't see it? I have a blood splatter on mine. Damn. I don't see it. Mm. I see there's a lot of dirt on your car though. I see there's a lot of dirt on both of your cars. Oh, you have to pop the hood though to see the, what engine cover. Oh yes, with. we do have to pop our hoods. You're right. <laughs> Cue Fast and Furious clip. Arm none first. Very nice. I think I went with the same one. It's a it's a very good looking uh, option. I like the red engine with with the blue or purple, whatever color the air intake hose is. I think it looks yeah. great. Yeah. That is blue. Good okay. job. Thank you. I thought it was blue. It was either blue or purple, so I was going to be right no matter what. <laughs> Red engine covers always look good, though. It does. It really does. Looks like Christmas. It do. So, mm -hmm. when... Oh, is that what you went for? Like a Christmas theme? No. I... But with <laughs> lime green? <laughs> That's just lime green. <laughs> um... Well, yeah, so I went with lime green for the primary color. I went the S racers in black. I went for the uh, secondary color in black with the with the black roof. The mm -hmm. secondary spoiler, the secondary uh, back panel as well, and the secondary color mirrors. And then I went for the primary skirt and uh, er, skirt and uh, front splitter as well. Yeah, I like Very the nice. uh, the tracing of the, the, the splitters. Of the line, yes. Yeah, yeah. Nice I think it looks even. nice. I like that. It, well, it, if there it was someone quite nice. bumper, Thank you. perfect. What a pearl lesson did you do? Zero. I went with black. Oh, okay. I, went, I was like, I went with yeah, a black, a black there, pearl. Shine? Yeah. The reason okay. I did that is because it makes the roof look funny. So I took it off. Mm -hmm. What about what about an ice white? Uh, ice, white would, ice white. Ice white would make the roof look funny as well. Yeah. I I didn't think the secondary color was placed well in the scar. Well, I yeah, actually I like it. Not to dabble. I like it. I I think that it, it looks a little weird until you look at the rest of the lines of the car. Like you got to think about like like in the factory them just placing the roof on the top of the car and then you know I feel like it, I feel like it it kind of suits it. You know, like you have to think about the roof as a separate part of the car, kind of. I mean, oh, I see what you mean. I think I think it kind of works. Like, like it, it it sits nicely on top of the car, on top of the rest mm -hmm. of the car. So I think it works okay on this car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah looks sick. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Well, right. we've we've heard about my car. It's time to let's let's hear about uh, let's hear about your cars. Mine. I think I stuck with the ice white matte. I changed it to a matte. Matte ice it's white. Matte. With this livery, it makes the red so sharp on it. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does. And looks very cool. Mm -hmm. I also went through with the red calipers for the secondary, but nothing else was secondary right. color. Uh, just to add a little bit more red. <clears throat> I like it. And of course, I went with those hood hood mirrors. So yes. Amazing. Yeah, those look sick. They I do love look the retro kind of look. Well, I can kind of see it with your build. Like you got the the bolted arches, and that th those mm -hmm. those rims look a little older. Like I can see those being like more '90s sort of sort of rims. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, exactly. I think, I think you're seeing what I was picturing yeah, even better. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it works quite well. It does. And I do like the titanium exhaust with it too. With that the titanium little blue in the back. Yeah, it, it, little, it adds a little a little, little hint of blue. That's what that's yes. what I went with as well. I Literally, every option you picked on your car is like, if I was in a parallel universe, this is what I would have picked. It's like, I considered Honestly, every super, single option cool. you picked. No, it does look yeah. very good. Should've yeah. considered it a bit it's more. Really. Might win this one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, uh... I thought about it, and every option I picked was um. Oh, I thought sorry, I thought there was bad. a better alternative. Misclick, <laughs> Right, right. Um, so I did go for a kind of like a a more JDM style like tuner build. Streets of Japan, you'd whip this thing. I went for like I didn't like the how many pipes there were for for the four like titanium exhaust. So I went for like the the big ovals. Oh, um, those are good. Yeah, and then I I didn't like the uh the raccoon in the back, so I made it white, and I thought it popped really nicely, and that's what made me decide to go with white. Mm. Um, and so I just accented with white as much as I could. And then I do like these, the, uh, I don't know what you call these on the splitter, like the sticks. The bars. The bars. bars. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah. the supports. Cinnamon sticks. Yeah. It's the and, cinnamon um, sticks. And then, uh, the, for the rims, I went for the, the trefade concaves, which, uh, you guys do think is controversial. I, However, I, I think it, it looks, it makes the car a lot sportier, which is what I was going for. I think, I think that, you, you know what the thing is that, that I think is the problem with the Truth Hate Concaves on this car in particular? Hmm. Those rims, um, if we're, if we if we were talking about, I mean, to be fair, this is a $2 million car in GTA. So that, the, we will get that out of the way. It's literally more expensive than an actual Bugatti in GTA. 
<laughs> but, Makes sense. But the rims are off of a Bugatti nonetheless, and you've put them on a Nissan. Yes. Uh, on a, a $50,000 Nissan. Okay. So I just back I, I just feel like the styling just doesn't hit as well as, as like, it, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't fit with the car. Like, you've gone for, like, extreme luxury rims with, like, kind of a retro look because of the mirrors, I feel like. And, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to hate, but I'm just saying you're going to lose. It's like, that's really just... Mm. <laughs> well, to share my two cents, I don't know my Japanese history too well, but I think it is, like, a kind of, like, a piece of culture to put, like, expensive things into, like, really trick out the car to look valuable. Yeah, yeah. And I think fair. those wheels do accomplish that without giving away too much of the like originalness of it mm -hmm. i don't know i'm still thinking about it that kind of i mean it kind of yeah. works i mean your car is japanese and your wheels come from germany so you're kind of like you know doing some world war ii stuff there so that's good. <laughs> it's kind of good. Kind of works. Um, oh, and for I everyone think... who's about, wait, just let me let me say this for everybody who's about to comment. Bugatti's French. Look up where it's engineered, and look up who owns Bugatti, <laughs> and then okay. tell me that. Okay. Here's the only thing. If you look from the back, the car does kind of have like a. It looks like the same. It's like so similar to the Nero in the back. It, you're actually it completely is, actually, right. Yeah. Yes. And so and so that's why I said from this back angle, I think these rims mm, fit. I so see well that now. It. I see that now. Um, it, from the front of the car, I, I do think it is like maybe a little odd, but I, from the back, I think it. it yeah. just I was like, it's calling. To me. Yeah. No. It, it 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 doesn't look that horrible. To be fair, I'm just kind of giving you because <laughs> um, I want you to lose, but um, it doesn't look that bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Actually, it's funny that the rear of this car is literally so similar to the Nero. Like, if you just put if you just put a pillar like up the middle of the window right there, where I just shot holes in your car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then put this exact spoiler. I swear this spoiler is an option for the Nero, or one very similar to that. Mm, like this, Nero. I feel like the Trufe Nero, like the one that we customized not that long ago. Oh, the I Chiron. Feel like, yeah, like uh -huh. the Chiron. I feel like the the back of this car is like actually so similar to the Nero. It is, bro. It's hmm. literally a Bugatti in the back. Yeah, that's really strange. Like the light shape and everything. Huh. Well, and e even on the Nero, you have that customization option, like that back, like the the thing in between the headlights. <laughs> yes. The. You you can change the color of that. Oh, oh, I didn't. You can change. I remember that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, I, what? Yeah, you can change that on the Nero. That same customization option, right in the middle of Aaron's car, right here, where I'm shooting, kind of like that. Oh. Like like this part right like, here. Like right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like right okay. There. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You Better can, watch you, yourself, boy. You can change that option. So. Okay, it's front engine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh God. Okay, just be careful. There's explosives around. It's okay, I think. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, could take it. Um, um, well, I, I guess that's pretty much it for the, uh, for the customization battle. I'm just going to show my car in the end of my video to remind everybody who's going to win this one and whose car looks the best. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, we'll leave the pinned comments in our videos down below. And you guys are, uh, of course, able to vote in the comments like usual. And, um, yeah. Uh, let us know what you thought of our builds in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't. Go subscribe to Twingo and NPC as well. And we will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.